Hey everybody, how are y'all doing on this beautiful Saturday evening? I hope everybody's uh, doing all right and having a wonderful weekend. <clears throat> now, uh, back about 2008 or 2009, I'd, when I was living up in North Carolina, I'd never been whitewater rafting, and um, they had a place there called the Akoi, which is pretty much... Uh, uh, the, uh, it's right there just on the inside of uh, North Carolina. Probably, a lot of y'all probably heard of it. And it's uh, There was a, a spot there that had a, was part of the 96 Olympics, which I thought was pretty neat and a fun little fact. But uh, while I was out there, like I say, I ain't never been whitewater rafting, and this one was the highest grade you could get. I think like a five or six. Something like that. But anyway, uh, I was up there and I was dating this girl and her uh, uncle and her brother came up there. So we thought it'd be fun to do a little white water rafting, do a little grilling out and swimming and all. And uh, what I didn't realize is that we was going to do white water rafting, but we wasn't going to use a boat or anything. I was going to put on was a, a football helmet and a, 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 a some kind of a, a flotation device and go on our backs. Well, I watched her uncle and her brother go a few times, and at the spot we chose to go in is uh, there's a little bridge that goes over the uh, area there into the uh, uh, like a water pumping station. And under the bridge, there's a little swirl gut that goes through there. It's called the uh, hell hole. And basically, if you don't hit it just right, you're going to, you get stuck in there, and they got to come and save you. Even if you're on a raft, you'll still need to be saved to get out. But uh, anyway, uh, I watched them do it a couple of times, and me thinking, you know, hey, that doesn't look too that awful bad, uh, uh, my brain was saying, hey, this is dangerous and stupid, but me still being pretty young at that time, I was like, oh, I'll be all right. So I uh, followed them to the spot where we was going, they was going into it at, and, and uh, some of the uh, people there, there was a few that went by on some kayaks, and not kayaks, but them uh, uh, little one-man kayak-looking things that people go through, and some of the people that had bought a uh, raft to go down, they pulled off to one side, and so did some of the kayakers. Is going to let us go through and watch just in case we might have needed help. And uh, my brain at this point was still hollering, hey, stupid, don't do this. You're going to get yourself hurt or killed. Well, I didn't listen. And I went through. Everything was going all right. I hit the hell hole at the right angle and uh, apparently I was laying on my back. What he was doing was laying on her back with her feet and straight, her legs straight out and her arms folded up against her chest and I made it through the hell hole all right. I hit the right angle and got shot out. Well, apparently during this time my foot caught the very top of one of the boulders that was there and I got stood straight up and uh, my leg got scraped up pretty bad from the boat over here. And then I hit another one on my side that got a pretty bad gash on it. And I was taking water in my mouth pretty, uh, pretty, it was pretty, I was taking a lot of water in my mouth and trying my best to keep my head above the waves where I could breathe and taking in water at the same time. And finally, I would say a good, uh, Football field in length, I, it, it had calmed down enough to where I could swim over to the bank, and I was coughing up water like crazy. And uh, some of the kayakers and the rafters come by, I was making sure was all, I was all all right. And I was like, yeah, I just got hit a few times by the boulders in there. Well, I didn't realize how bad I was cut up until I uh, got up back to the road walking back to where that little walkway was to get to the uh, where the water pumping station was. And I looked down and 
I had some pretty bad cuts on my leg and had one gash on my side that if I'd actually went in the hospital and had it checked out, I'd have probably needed a couple of stitches, but I slapped one of those gauze on it and put some band-aids over it and held it in place and we went on about our day. I didn't ever go back in there to do it again, but my girlfriend's at that time's brother and uncle went a few more times and we went down to this one bridge to do a little swimming and me and her brother jumped off of it a few times and and I know I should have just uh, stopped my swimming adventures there because I was all cut up. But I was like, I forget it, I'll be all right. Then we made it down to uh, a little further down and you could still see where the where the part of the uh, uh, koi was ro rolling through there. To, you can still see some of them going down through there. And then wherever it is they went to go back up to the start of it. Grilled out. Swam some more. And it was a pretty fun day. <coughs> and the next day, uh, I ended up going to get my cuts and all checked out. And. I, I didn't need stitches, but they gave me some stuff to put over the cuts and make sure I changed the bandages on it, make sure it was right. I still got the scars on my side from it, but it was a pretty fun adventure. I enjoyed it. If you ever get a chance to go up to North Carolina and uh, want to do some whitewater rafting, I, I would say, hey, go give the Akoi a try. They were nice people up there, and it's pretty fun. And when you get done with that, make sure you go up to Murphy, North Carolina. It's an absolutely beautiful place up there. Some of the nicest people you meet, and it's a great place to visit. And uh, uh, once you get, uh, when you turn left right there where the McDonald's is, and get to like the second, uh, star, to the second, uh, uh stop lights there and take a left it's the uh, historic part of it and they got a lot of uh, antique shops and museums talking about the history of the place and it'll be a real beautiful experience to uh, uh, go and check out well anyway uh, i hope everybody has a wonderful rest of the day and thank y'all for listening and i will see y'all in the next video